Welcome to this Google Apps screencast where we're going to show students how to turn in files to the teacher. Here I am in Google Docs. I'm going to quickly create a file. So I'm going to create a document. Anytime you start working in any document, you should be sure to name the document correctly. So I'm going to click on the file name here. And when turning in files to the teacher, we want you to use the format of class hour, followed by a space, your last name, followed by a space, and whatever the assignment is. So I'm going to pretend this is a paper here that I'm writing on Lewis and Clark for social studies class. So I'm going to click OK. So I've got my document open. I can start working in my document. What I'm going to show you now, though, is how to properly share that file to the teacher. When sharing files to your teacher, please do not use the share button within the file. Instead, I'm going to go back to the other tab I have open here at the top, the Google Docs Home tab, and I've already ahead of time created a folder for this particular class. So you should have a folder for the class that you want to use to share those files to your teacher. Here's the file that I'm working on. Now some teachers will request that you, you, put, you put the file in there at any time. You might not be done with your project yet or your paper. Some teachers might ask you to not turn it in until the end of the assignment, until it's complete. So please check with your teacher on what they would prefer that you do. To put the file in this folder, please use the checkboxes. Don't drag and drop. We found that there are some glitches with dragging and dropping files. So uh, use the checkbox, check the file. Then come up here to the little folder or organize button. Click that. And here this shows your different folders. You want to check the folder that you want that file to go into. So I want this to go into my, uh, my shared folder for social studies. And I'm going to click apply changes. Now what that does is it puts the file in that folder and it instantaneously shares it to your teacher. So to check this you can go and click on the folder over here and anything that's in here is shared to your teacher. You'll even see that it says it's shared right after the file name. So anything that's in this folder your teacher can see, you can see you both have rights to it. If I go back to my home area, you'll also see when you're looking at the file in the home area that right after it, it says the name of the folder that that file is assigned to. So that's another indication that you did this correctly. So that is how you properly share files to the teacher, by putting the file into the folder that is shared to your teacher. This will just make it so that things are more organized for the students and that things stay more organized for the teacher. Some teachers might have you also go fill out a form after this, and we'll do another video to show you how to do that. Thanks so much for watching.